Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to take in-game screenshots and get all four. To get started, we need to quickly set up where we're going to save our screenshots at. So, project, project settings, type in custom directory, enable that. This will be where your actual game is saved. You might already have this set up. Type in your game's name or whatever you'd like here. Just make sure you remember whatever you typed here. Now head over to the camera that you are using in your game. So camera 2D. In here, start by creating a variable. This will be the amount of screenshots we have. So SS count, and we will default that to one for reasons I'll go over later. Now we need to go ahead and create the actual folder that we will store our screenshots in. So function ready. We'll go ahead and create a new directory variable. So variable dir, we'll set this to dir access dot open our user folder so what this does is it will access the folder we create with our custom directory now dir dot make dir and this is where we will name our folder so screen shots now it's going to create a new function called screen shot and we will await our rendering server dot frame post draw so we'll access the frame after it's drawn now we need to access our camera's viewport so variable viewport set the to get viewport now to get our image we'll go ahead and do variable image set the to viewport the one we created just now get texture dot get image and now to save our image we'll go into img dot save png with our user screenshots. So we'll access that folder that we created before slash SS, which will be the name of our PNG. And now we need to add our SS count so we don't overwrite other screenshots. And we'll do plus a string of dot PNG. I also forgot to make this a string as well. And now let's go ahead and add to our SS count. So SS count We'll plus get one. Now we have one slight issue where our SS count will always be reset to one every time we restart the game. To fix this, after we create our folder, we will copy over our directory access. We will move it to our screenshots folder. Now we can loop through those. So for n in dir dot get files. And we will simply add to count so now we will always be adding one to the amount of files we already have and we want to default it to one so that way we always have one extra and now to finish up we simply need to call our screenshot function so we can go with function input event if event dot is action pressed and i created this event before the video screenshot then we will simply call our screenshot function now press play and now if we take a screenshot and we head over to app data roaming and the name we created before you can see we have a screenshots folder with our screenshot and it says ss1 so if we create a new screenshot and head back to our folder we will have ss2 anyways guys i hope you found this story helpful if you have questions or comments please leave them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you